hello guys so in this video i will talk about transaction mode of mq input okay so in a very simple term transaction mode is like how your messages are going to be processed okay how your messages are going to be processed in a particular message flow okay if you navigate to properties of mq input under advanced you can find this transaction mode property which is having three options okay now this is self understood if you see this message flow it is self understood what is happening here some information is being received on input queue some transformation is happening here and information is being put on the output queue now if everything is fine then this will behave as per the expectation but see suppose if there is something wrong happens in between maybe maybe uh, something wrong happens here some exception occurs here or here or maybe here itself okay then how this transaction is going to be handled this is basically uh, decided by your transaction mode okay so let's see so first we'll talk about this transaction mode yes what will happen if your transaction mode is yes information is received and some exception occurs in between then what will happen to your original message see there is no exception handling provide here your some exception occurs and that exception remains unhandled then what will happen to your original message where it will go okay so it will go to back out queue okay and this is defined on queue level i'll talk about all these things but if there is no back out queue it will go to dead letter queue and this is defined on queue manager level okay so i'm repeating my statement again and listen this statement carefully if your transaction mode is yes and some message is received by your message flow and if something wrong happens due to some odd reasons some exception occurs and that exception remains unhandled then your original message will go to back out queue if there is no back out queue it will go to dead letter queue if there is no dead letter queue also then it will continuously try to find a path to reside okay it will it will go inside a infinite loop okay it may go inside the infinite loop and it will continuously try to find a path where it can reside but it will not find any path because there is no back out queue there is no dead, dead letter queue then uh, in that case some problem may occur maybe some problem may occur with your execution group or something like that okay so this is the case with your transaction mode yes okay so let's see let's uh, have a practical demonstration so this is my message flow here deliberately i have provided a wrong data source name so that some exception occurs okay so let me deploy it i am hitting my message i am executing the message flow message is processed but due to some exception i cannot find any information on my mq output let's see on mq output i have defined this queue oh, out queue there is no information here nothing is present here now then where is my original message like i said my transaction mode is here so i can find it on a back out queue and back out queue is always defined on a queue level okay so let's see if i have defined a back out queue of this input queue okay there is no back out queue i think see there is no back out queue like i said if there is no back out queue i can find the message on dead letter queue so and dead letter queue is defined on queue manager level so let's browse the properties of queue manager and see if there is a dead letter queue defined yes 
see these queues back out to delta queue are nothing but the the local queues okay which i have created here and i have basically provided them as a i mean uh, like this dead letter queue is a local queue and i provided it as a back uh, dead letter queue of this queue manager okay so if i browse my dead letter queue see my message is here because i have defined a dead letter queue of uh, this queue manager see the current queue depth is one that means my message came here my original message if i browse this see i can find one message here this is my original message which i executed see this is the input queue you can see this okay i can find it on dead letter queue so let me define the back out queue of this particular queue let me select a queue back out queue this time my message will come to back out queue okay first my message will see my message will look for back out queue if it finds the back out queue then it's okay it will go inside the back out queue it will go to dead letter queue only if it is not able to find the back out queue okay let me execute process message is process let me browse this time it came to back out queue okay so this is about my transaction mode yes see if there is no back out queue suppose if there is no back out queue no dead letter queue first let me let me clear these queues okay now let me remove the backout queue click ok let me remove the dead letter queue also see now if i hit the transaction then an infinite loop may occur my message will continuously try to find a path see let me execute it see my message is not on dead letter queue because no dead letter queue defined for the queue manager no backout queue is defined for the input queue then where is my message my transaction mode is yes now it is continuously trying to find a path see in between the process if i define the queue let me define then i can find the message there currently it is finding a path if i provide a dead letter queue here immediately it will find this dead letter queue and will go inside it it is defined so let me browse it see it came here okay if i had defined the back out queue inside, uh, instead of the letter queue that it would have uh, find a place inside this ba back out queue okay so this is the case with the transaction mode yes now what is the case if my transaction mode is no if my transaction mode is no then in the similar situation my message will not go anywhere it will be simply lost okay my message will be simply lost let me hit the transaction okay let's see there is nothing on the letter queue there is nothing on backout queue then where is my message it is lost okay so this is the case of transaction mode no in my in in case of transaction mode no in this particular scenario message will always be lost always remember okay so we are left with one property which is automatic so i'll talk about this in my next video okay okay guys so thanks for watching this video